Sanders, Miss Motivational here. Today I'm going to share with you my top five ways to help you have a great daily cleanse. I'm not talking about the green juice things and weird ingredients and things to help you clean out whatever's going on on the inside. You know when you had a really crazy weekend, you maybe ate a lot, drank a lot, or you're just feeling overwhelmed by what's going on at work. Everything just seems to be caving in on you. It happens to all of us. That's why I have my five tips to help you clean up that you can do every day, weekly, monthly, whenever you just need to feel like you need to hit a refresh button. Number one, clean and jerk. Whoa, 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 not that kind of clean and jerk. I'm talking about cleaning your stuff and getting them away. For example, if things get crazy after a long weekend in your whole apartment or your home or your room is a mess, simply clean up all of your clothes, everything that's all over the place, and put them away. You can also clean up your agenda. When you have a lot of different things going on, prioritize your stuff and clean things up. When you're looking at it, you're like, I have this, this, and this, and that, but there's no time for you, or there's no time for him. Whatever it is, clean up your stuff, put that thing out of here, jerk it away, and focus on what you need to do right now. Number two, prep your meals. It's really, really soothing to cook your own meals. And it helps kind of clean out maybe any stress that you have going on, whatever went on the day before, and even forget about what's going on later. You just focus on the task at hand. So try to prep your meals, see how it helps you. Number three, exercise. We all know that exercise is good for us. It cleans out whatever's going on in our body. It has blood flow moving all over, so we have nutrients getting all over the place. It's good stuff. So if you had a crazy weekend, you're having a crazy day, just move and do what excites you. Don't just do exercise that someone else is doing. Do what you need to do that day, whether it's a walk, yoga, boot camp, running, whatever it is, make it happen. Check out my other YouTube videos for moves that you can do that'll give you more power. Number four, say ah. Breathe, relax, recover. Sometimes in order to push forward, you have to pull back. Step number one was clean and jerk. So sometimes in order to clean and let all those things go, you just need to breathe. So remember to make sure that you do that. My final fifth tip to help you clean up is to get creative. So that means doing whatever it is that helps you to do things a little differently and feel differently in a positive way. For example, coloring is so much fun. Even when I was stuck in a rut, I actually pulled out crayons and started coloring and I felt really good and really, really refreshed. A lot of studies have been coming out that show that it relieves stress and it helps to boost creativity and even self-esteem of how you feel about yourself. So why not try this out? It's a great way to let go of tension. If that's not for you, take a dance class, go to a cooking class, just do something that ignites and excites you to be more creative. That will help you to clean out whatever has been going on, whether it's how you feel or maybe whatever you've been doing every single day, and it'll allow you to grow in a whole new direction. If you are ready to make things happen, power up and clean up your act, then you have to follow me on social media, MZ Motivational on Instagram and Twitter. Visit my website, MissMotivational.com, YouTube, Michelle G. Fit, and most importantly, book me for a Power Up program. I've been running these programs to help people feel more powerful, more creative, and to just let go of whatever's holding them back so they can push forward and make things happen. And I'm so excited to do one with you. Can't wait to hear more. Happens when things get all over the place. Your hair gets all over you.